Well, good morning. Welcome along, everyone. Lovely to see you. I hope you're all having a beautiful, beautiful weekend. Um, we are back on multiplayers today, and we're back in Shellbrook and doing something a little bit different. I know the thumbnail showed uh, forage harvesting, but that's what we did last time, and often the thumbnails show what we did last time rather than what we're doing this time. But uh, we're playing around with the Sputnik Spud harvesting equipment tonight, which is going to be a lot of fun. Um, when I say tonight for it, it's seven in the morning at the morning at the moment um but this is something i played around with in 19 and really loved this pack and uh never had the chance to play with it on multiplayer so today we're gonna have the chance so we've got a good crew coming in our server's just about full actually we've got hansen and ben they are gonna be running these wind rows. so basically if you haven't seen this before these pick up the spuds what is it two four six rows at a time and then basically distribute them in the middle one goes out that side, this one comes out that side, and you basically get a wind row of spuds down the middle, which, if I go back over here, you can clearly see, and then we're going to be running the pickup here, which also harvests at the same time. Um, it can pick up four rows, and then it unloads into in carts. And then we've got a truck on auto drive that just went past, and uh, we're going to be using that to pick things up. So, um, as you can see, everyone's sort of all set up and good to go. I even think Ensign did the, did the good thing and set up a GPS or something, so. Um, remember how to set all this up. So, right, have a look. Field 21 potato harvest is. Set up on that and turn some lines on. Okay, you can see it set up over there. That's going to work out for us, so that's all very good. Anyhow, let's do some hellos and welcomes along. Brooke, nice to see you. Welcome. Uh, Chinook, you were here. Pip, Thomas, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you guys. Hanson, DK, hello. Uh, nice to have you both here in this in the server. Tam's here. Lap, Scott, I was going to say laptop's here. Scott's here. Um, so I think, let's just have a look. Do I have to, that is loud down. So, I think we might need to get a get a truck in here, a cart in here. Have a look, is it? Here we go. Yeah. Uh, let's get that. Lift that up. Let's go. Let's see. Yeah, we can we can hold a thousand liters in the harvester, so we get a little bit of overlap without waiting. But um, look at that. You know, quickly we're filling up five, six thousand liters already. But that's because we've just harvested this big width all in one go. So it'll be fun once we get into the field and get things up and going properly. Um, but who else? Mrs. Professor's here. Hello, Mrs. Professor. Great to see you. Uh, Novak G, can you play with me? Well, you are welcome to join. Um. I'm just not sure if we have any space today. That's the only going to be the only downside. All right, get that done. All right, get turned around here. Work the tree. Okay, I'm getting told to lower the speed. I remember that now. Ooh. Who put that tree there anyhow? Um, but if you do want to join and the server's up and running all the time, um, Discord exclamation mark Discord, and you can go through and find the links and everything like that. So, right. Um, we're just gonna bump our GPS down a little bit so it's not going so fast for everyone. It's, an, it's annoying actually when I right, we'll, we'll get going some way shape or form right uh, let's bump this string Ooh. 
we'll go down to four miles per hour. There we go. I've slowed down four miles per hour. Um, yes, going back to who we were talking to. So, Novak, hello. Uh, yeah, exclamation mark Discord, and you can go and join um, at other stages. Always, always have something to do. Um, hey, Dace, how you doing? I thought this would float your boat. Good to see you, mate. Make sure the uh, trailers stay nice and close too. That's got almost full on those two passes, so we're just trying to uh, figure out numbers, figure out who works where. Uh, you were subscribed when I hit 2300 subs, Brock. Look at that, and now I'm about 2300 subs away from 2000. Uh, it's 20,000, which is the next milestone I'd love to, love to smash out. Uh, okay, Craig, how you doing? Um, Mr. FSG, how you doing, my friend? I got your message. Um, sorry, I haven't got back to you, but yes, that will work out just fine for me. What time is it? So it's it must be what is it? 8 a 8 p.m. for you at the moment. If it's 8 p.m. for you at the moment, yeah, that'll work. Um, so we're gonna look how much potatoes we've harvested already, how much we've got to do. But uh, once we pass this, then these are big long passes. Trucks down here, they're parked up on auto drive. Um, I actually think our problem is going to be keeping the trucks moving, having enough trucks to keep them moving. We have to wait and see. But there you go, you can see Hanson. He's running along, dropping those off. creating that one row in the middle it's kind of cool kind of cool yeah like I said I've never haven't had the chance to do this on a multiplayer server so excited to see how this all works so far so good Tam stolen your tractor nice looking tractor too Ben hey look at that juicy big 10T 1050 not 10T Hey, for Home Valley Gaming, how you doing? John, good morning, mate. Welcome along. Good to see you. Totally unrealistic. Oh, I gotta remember to stop. There right, we go. We're good. Let's go a bit faster, Hubba. There we go. There we go, we got it. <laughs> don't, don't tell me you're finishing this field before you do silage. Well, as I said before, the silage screenshot was a um, was from our last multiplayer server. So, um, we, are, we are harvesting spuds today. No silage, all spuds. Go through Scott. Oh, here comes Chinook. I should actually be in chat with these guys today. It'd be easier for them to hear what's going on. Anyhow, right. I think I've got my head around everything. Head around everything. Said hello to everyone. up Scott
And these little bits too. Maybe three hundred liters or so. Uh, yeah, two. Ah, oh, you're right. How many? Just Drive all the way up to the corner. Now we'll wait for you. It's seeing taking the ridges at any angle. Well, how would I? It, it is what it is. You'll be okay. That is, you'll be okay. Oh, I was going fast because I didn't have that down. I wonder why I was going so fast. I reckon. You can have another one row going now. Surely once we have four tractors. Yeah, I reckon four tractors. Four tractors hauling. And a bonus one row. Just put one of the put one of the others back in the one row and run that chunk and haul. Big field for what we're doing. It's it is big. It is big, but we'll get it once we get up and going on these long passes. We'll race through it. I reckon it'll be a pretty pretty quick um, process. A lot of taters, straight ham. It is it certainly is. You're planning on joining this morning, Craig, but you've picked up a flu from your son's. Day. Ah, that sucks. Really nice to have you too. Glad you've infected everyone with the spud bug. I don't even know what's happening with these spuds days, whether we're selling them, whether they're um going into a processing plant. Not actually sure. Right, waiting for Ben to get in here and get going. <coughs> Excuse me. Just wait for Ben. Not for these. Uh, it's funny, I don't have that additional settings with the indoor camera setting. So when I go behind someone, it goes all funny. What is that? Is that Landini? So. Making Argsy gaming branded chips to sell worldwide. Exactly. Be lots of them. Heaps of taters. Ben's feeling the pressure at the moment. Everyone's waiting for him. Give him a hurry up. Right, I think we're under control. Finally, good things take time. Right, get these guys in here next to me. Go forward, 
Tim. Is that speed sync working? Yeah. Right, we're under control. Done. Look at that. Right, now we've got that wedge open. Should work pretty good. I just need to keep an eye on the fill levels. Which is good because we've got the little indicator down the bottom that I can do that with. Check out the convoy. It looks good, doesn't it? Hey? This is this is proper big spud harvesting. You you wouldn't be you you wouldn't be um you wouldn't be scared of doing spuds if you were uh, when you had a hundred k using this equipment FSG. Just drive over, just drive over, just drive over them, Tam. Just drive over them. Go Huber, go Huber, faster, faster Huber. Here we go. Good day, Jason. How you doing? Yeah, you are. Finally getting to see me on a Sunday. You are up early. Back in a while, no worries, days. Loving this kind of. Yeah, this is fun. It'll be fun. Oh, Hooper's. Hooper's disconnecting. Uh, just need a nice potato pro processing plant. I know, right? Looks happy. Ninety six, ninety seven, ninety eight. We're full. Doesn't look full, does it? So one tip I'd have for the hauling guys. Um you guys who are driving the carts, if you drive right past me so the org is right at the very back of the trailer, and then when I start moving forward, you guys will be, have more time to react with that server lag. Alright, what's Chinook doing? He's going to drive trucks now. percent always the cart driver's fault um gay tracer how you doing not sure you enjoy the next version very much followed the current team of involved processing it is it is very involved oh there goes ben hey ben he's our windrowing driver Just realised you didn't change the clock for daylight savings. So now I have another hour for activities. So I saw a, saw an image last night on Facebook, which was basically all different things you need to change your climate time on smartwatch, uh, smartphone. Don't worry about it because it's smart and will figure out itself. Um, oh, now I'm going to look stupid. I can't remember the other three. One was for like home appliances. You needed an electrical engineering to, degree to figure it out. In your car, car stereos and things like that. Just leave it for six months and remember you're on not on daylight savings time anymore. Um, what was the fourth one? Was it just manual clocks you had to wind back an hour or something? Just 
it's a nice forgiving unload on this auger. Doesn't matter how close the trucks are, it'll have a little bit of an overlap, it doesn't hurt. There's a wheel there, Tim. It's been coming back. I was, <laughs> I was just going to say you could jump, you could jump into the other one, row, but Ben's just come back, handsome. Might be into that, regardless, it'll be top tier. Absolutely will be. We're trying to figure out where the Winrow is. Oh, it's turned around. Hey, Thomas, how you doing? It's not bad, 20 grand off a truckload of spuds. Not bad at all. Here we go, that one worked better. Nice. Nice and smooth. Another go, Ben. Uh, Scott, Scott, I don't think you're on the right GPS course, mate. the end of the row anyhow. Be able to get out of the way. Comes Ben back. He's alright. He's alright. <clears throat> no, that's not right. So you're off to the you need to be to the left than that. Still not right. That's still not right, is it? Maybe it is. I can pick it up manually, but only just. <clears throat> I'm sure. I'm sure we'll get into a nice rhythm sometime. Come back a little bit more, Ron. 
Get back a bit more, right? the one rock. Hey, hey Ian, how you doing? if Scott's going to hop out. Alright, let's have a go at this. Now, is our GPS loaded? It's not. Turn that on. Unless, load another one. Rough for just a touch. And go in and load another course again, which is the one we want, field 21 potato harvest, turn our lines on, there we go, they are there, now that should be all good to go, let's have a look, dropping, here we go, and see so if to manually, the only thing you have to do with this is manually drop it to the ground, <clears throat> but there we go, we are windrowing. Hey Finnish Farmer, how you doing? Amy, nice to see you as well, welcome along. Tater team, hello, Argsy Gaming and all. Hey Rusty, how you doing mate? Good to see you. Hope you're all good. Alright, there's someone. Yeah, someone needs to jump in the harvester or we're not going to get anywhere. Team, Tater team, I don't know how much teamwork there is actually going on at the moment. Rusty, it's all a bit of a rusty, a little bit rusty. Not sure NASCAR and academic degree have ever been uttered the same sentence before. So fingers crossed, we'll actually get to um now ideally, the way I've seen these being done before is your two wind rows that actually be side by side and your harvest is almost running right behind them. It looks really cool. I mean, I'm sure they've probably set it up for photos and that, but it does seem to work really nicely. <clears throat> Chilling and waiting to see how bad this weather here in Nebraska is going. Oh, Eden, you've got a bit of a storm going on, have you, Rusty? No fun. No fun at all. I'm well, looking forward, we are uh, doing our new multiplayer with FSG tonight, which is going to be a lot of fun. Looking forward to this. It's a, uh, yeah, it's going to be an exciting new series, I think. It should be, should be a blast. Very windy, but threats of 70 miles, winds and quarter size, hail plus tornadoes. Ah, that's not fun. Well, I'm keep my fingers crossed for you, mate. Hey, Bo, how you doing, mate? Good to see you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Alright, well, this is, uh, this is pretty calm and carefree, isn't it? I don't have to worry about someone getting parked beside me and running or anything like that. <clears throat> I 
<clears throat> Eighth, how you doing? A little late. I mean, it's ridiculously early for you, isn't it? Wouldn't have stayed on much longer, just lost an electric on oh, I've been. Oh, that's no fun. Not the night for it for you. 5.30 a.m. for you, Heath. Yeah, I was going to say it's early. I'm running on minus 8. Yep. Then I'll go back down 9. Yep. <clears throat> Come from bad to worse. We're moving. We'll get this field opened up. I mean, the field is opened up now. Get things done. Oh, you need to swing out a little bit more on that. That's uh, a bit wide. Look at the stretch on the PTO shaft. <laughs> that doesn't look too good, does it? Uh, we want to go down. Yep. Drop into the ground, perfect. <clears throat> hey Vedra, how you doing? Time difference is brutal for catching those streams. Managed to break away from work to pop in for a bit. Nice to see you, mate. Thank you for uh, finding some time to say hello. Good to have you here. Ben is in the UK, Rusty. He was one of the legends who came in. Uh, Travelled north when I was over there last year and came up and saw us in Edinburgh, which was nice. Nice to meet him in person. Look at that. Poetry. Truck in the background. Alvista carts. A few spuds being missed here and there. It's actually a good thing if the if the pickup's full and oh no they're not getting missed it's just a uh, server lag look at that even better long ways from Nebraska a bit of a walk rusty a bit of a walk that's yeah, awesome lots of people in um. Bad storms up your way too, FSG. Hey Hodge1, how you doing? Greetings from Saskatchewan, welcome along. Are we full? We've got room for one more, have we? Two, four, five, six, seven. We do. Ben would have been when Ben would have made it full. room for one more, that's right, we've got tractor sitting down there not doing anything. Now if you were doing this, you, it is, it is possible to do this all on course play, so I had to play around with this in 19 and you can, if you're doing this solo, um, you can run the Spudnik pack on course play, which is pretty cool. Just the only thing I think from memory is you had to manually tell it to drop to ground before it, um, before you set it off. And then it kind of remembered that.
<clears throat> 35 subs and 15 k views. Nice work, Heath. Is that on your shorts, is it? That's awesome. Keep at it, mate. Keep at it. I wish we had more to talk about from a pharmacist point of view, but there's not a huge amount to discuss really, is there? Huge number of maps and it seems that giants are getting back to a regular or more more uh, frequent cadence of mod releases, which is cool. And my update for Anywhere Object Storage went into testing on Friday, so hopefully that update will be out soon and the field bell store will get fixed. It's totally bringing it down with the winds going on. Hope that doesn't include your daughter, Days. She's alright. Keep her inside and she won't blow away. Are you going slower than me, Hanson? I've seen to have caught up to you a bit. She said her mum for the weekend is he working? Ah, uh, fair enough. Excellent. Right, we're on 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I was just looking at that, we've just talking about the goal for the map. The goal for the map was to create the reputation and we're up to up to three thousand reputation. Which is impressive. So it basically means and, and this is cool, you look at time saving stock check, <laughs> look at everything we have scattered all around the map, all the different products and product things. Eleven and a half million dollars. They're big ticket items. Two million dollars worth of silage. So look at how much silage they ended up making off that field. I think this is about 16 million litres or something came off that state, um, off that field in the end. And a flower. And lots of things just sitting around that. Oh, see the objects and reputation are worth a decent amount. Sugar. Flower, silage. Just lots of everything really. Canola. Million dollars worth of canola. Hey Vidro, thank you very much for the 10 Canadian dollar super chat. Insert some creative and thoughtful comment here. It's very creative and thoughtful. Appreciate it mate, very much appreciated. Should pop up any second now once bots catch up with things. Hopefully we will anyhow. Quiet. Why has it been quiet? Hmm. It's annoying. Why are my alerts didn't work then? I have to have a look into that. Didn't know what to write, didn't think it would ask me a few life stories I've ever done before, but thanks for the good streams, vids and awesome community. Awesome. Thanks mate. Very much appreciated. Do it because it's fun. And uh, it certainly opened up a few amazing opportunities. It was cool. I always sort of pinch myself. I think you've got a... Uh, People all around the world sitting there tuning and watching you. 
I remember we chat about it the other day, and you know, for some people, you're just a face on the screen, and you're no different to someone on a TV show or something. But they get the chance to interact. That's pretty cool. Have hey, I tried Pocono Whiskey? One of my favourites, Thomas. Absolute banging whiskey. I have got a bottle of it here. Um, really good. To the point, I'm going to sneak a bottle into my bag when I go to FarmCon and share it with the lads over there. Is this implement dumping the spuds into it leaving? It is indeed. We're getting a... creating a windrow and then... Oh, you'll see it when we go back past. Oh, but the harvester down there goes down and picks the middle row up. So we're basically putting... If we were running down the spud rows, this has got six. So Hanson and I are putting 12 rows basically into one for the uh, pickup to pick up. Super fast way to do spuds. Have you tried it as well, Thomas? What do you think? Hey, Brett, how you doing? Good to see you. Good morning. Do we have a young Floyd watching as well, Bo? So, hello, Floyd. Planning to buy and try it this week. Uh, yeah, no, it's good. <clears throat> I don't know if it's like the Thompson whiskeys, the Kiwi Thompson whiskeys, where it had they have different. Um, different ages and I'm not sure at what stage they are in their maturity process but definitely a nice drop alright it's an easy one for us we turn around and go back down the same row again uh, the row next door sorry Deutz has obviously just got a little bit, little bit more power than the Landini. Um, you think Coursway would have trouble working this out? Yeah, it does. It, it works though. It works. I managed to get it to work. I can't remember how I got it to work. Hello. Yeah. You done? Mm -hmm. Hey Nismo, how you doing? Mr. Shorts, can you join? Um, you can. There is, I think there's one slot at the moment if you had all the mods downloaded and everything like that. There's a few of them. Um, but you need to join the Discord, exclamation mark Discord, and you can find everything in there, all the server passwords and mod downloads and everything like that. Road trip, road trip to Pocono to buy. Nice, Thomas. Hey, Corp, how you doing? Good morning, mate. Good to see you. Got to go now to get ready for going to church with your sister. Good man, Heath. Have a good Sunday, Muddy. We'll catch you again soon. Um, Vidra. Gifting five memberships as well. Thank you very much, mate. Look at that, Mr. Shorts. Pops in task to join and he gets the membership straight away. Simon, David, Kwani, and Nico. Look at that, some fresh names there. Nice to see you all. Congratulations on the gift of memberships and thank you very much for those, Vedra. Very much appreciated. I should only just had a look over to see there's 56 people watching. We'll pop down to 48, but around 50 people. Nice to have you all here. If you haven't dropped a, uh, dropped a like on the stream, Please make sure you do. Very much appreciated. Rooster crowing. So at least those alerts are working. Into the moo cow before. There's, yeah, as I was saying, there's um, a lot of map releases in the last week. I like the look of the, the French one. Everyone's sort of giving that some rave reviews. <clears throat> Starts with P, I can't remember what was the actual name of it. Let's have a look it up now. 
Prawini or something was it like, was it that? Do, 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 do. Haligne. Haligne. Probably don't pronounce the G, do you? It's a that's a uh, Kiwi butchering French words. Haligne. Haligne. You just up coffee. You haven't even had a coffee yet. Well, you need to go fix that. Go fix that. Join the fun here any time. Indeed, lots of uh, lots of things to keep us busy here. Lots of things. Like if you have a look at how much land we own, okay, selling a few more spuddies. Um, but look at this. Look at how much of the map we own. Maybe I need to change the challenge from the reputation challenge to buying the map. I don't know if we... It's all owned too. We haven't leased any of it. So I found that just leave the pickup down on the end and it leaves you conveyor how you've set it. But if you lift the lift the pickup up it resets the conveyor. It's really weird. Buying map would be easy. Well, it would be with the eleven million we've got in the in, in time saving stock jet corp. <clears throat> you live about thirty five minutes from Shellbrook in real life, Hodge. Nice. There we go. I really enjoy the Canadian maps actually. Really enjoy them. There've been some good ones too. This in there, um, Edgewater, um, Chilliwac. It's a new one from Hilly Farms coming. Was it Fraser Valley? I think Fraser River, Fraser Valley. That's looking really good. Sadly, that's about all I can break away from work. But thanks for the stream. Hope I can jump into the next one. Everyone hit the like button. See you on the Discord. Yeah, cheers, Vidra. Much appreciated, mate. Enjoy the rest of your day. Alright, uh, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, I think. 20's us. We might get to the point where we get these wind rows far enough ahead we can actually uh, swap out and do a little bit of hauling. was just saying Ben's only just learnt today about the GPS lines at some um, yeah big console player um the the numbers on GPS are a game changer if you know that that's quite cool down in the down in the bottom if you haven't seen it before if you're new to guidance steering you've got the rows which basically counts from where you start the field and it counts in positives one direction and negatives in the other direction so we've gone 20 rows across while well, we're on 20 quite handy um how is the challenge going i forgot about it well we've actually we've we haven't fit well i never set an end goal on the challenge but we have managed to get here and using using the um storage mod storage mod um we've got the got the reputation done there so we have actually managed to make some reputation now just how far do we go with it and still, Steve is still working well. Interesting with people being uh, sort of dancing off in different directions and being on different servers. It's very cool. Things getting mixed up. Used to work for a local trucking company from there. Nice hunch. Nice hunch. Need it. Need it. Need a logistics expert. Someone who can manage and organise all our different productions because there's lots of them and there's lots of different bits and pieces we almost need a flow diagram of going right where do the oats go the oats go from there to there and then they go down into the air and then they end up there
Drop on Uggsy Gaming a donut on the like button. He needs tater energy. Thank you, Rusty. You very much appreciated, mate. Yes. Cop fuel is cop fuel's coffee, isn't it? Good coffee if it's a cop fuel and a donut. Cop batteries. Gotta fuel and battery your cops. For those who don't know Rusty, Rusty um is a YouTube channel where he creates challenges or coll um, collates challenges. Maybe people come and suggest challenges. He has a Facebook group, Farming Simulator Challenges, is it Rusty, I think, from memory? Uh, where people can come up with ideas and challenges and share their progress. So if you're looking for a different way to play the game, definitely go ahead and check that out. It's a very popular one that's being done at the moment by a huge number of content creators and players alike, um, which is the 200 horsepower challenge on Calmlands. If you haven't seen... Um, there is a lot of people doing that and it's it's a lot of fun to follow around with some of the other ones you've done rusty is the baker cake challenge um there's the square by square which is a map domination challenge rusty's doing on which maps that hinterland basically you've got to buy a square of land next to the square you already own um it's very cool so get along follow his channel give him a like subscribe if you don't already Definitely deserves it. Got fuel, coffee, and batteries and donuts. Farming simulator challenges on Facebook. There you go. I'll be making him blush by everything I just said, but I like being able to help other people out. silage crew what do you want to do sell the silage Got all those bunk bits with silage we don't need it for animals well we must be uh, I'm just looking at we're getting to the pointy end of the field uh, now we now we get to the awkward part to turn around all right row 20 we want to go on to 21 Oh, I can't turn around in there. There's trees everywhere. I thought I was going to get an opening. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. And I see them dropping. I can't see them dropping. Okay. Do we have... oh we do. Actually lean out and see. I love the realistic cab view mod being able to lean. It's a nice different perspective on things. Look at that. Busy busy busy. <clears throat> In Iraq you're making 5 gallons of coffee for your 12 hour shift. I don't see what that did to your insides, Corp. <laughs> Bio, you've started to come up with the basic premise for the video you think you're doing. Nice one, mate. I'm looking forward to seeing that. After carrots last night, you'd think you'd rather do taters, poplars, and sugar cane. Nice. I saw a mod. I wanted to cheat it somewhere, actually. And uh, I saw it last night on king mods as well there's a truck which has a conveyor at the side and it's got like men that walk around along behind the conveyor and harvest your root crops kind of simulating using manual labor to harvest them kind of cool well now that we're doing this i probably could have built some lego but i've got nothing set up ready to go I don't even have a, a lazy set i could pull out and build at least not one underneath me We keep it, we're keeping ahead, but not, not too far ahead. We 
the case tractor and the Millennium Falcon both spent a couple of hours in the repair shop yesterday. I'll tell you what, the, the case was actually quite easy because I'd, I'd only recently built it and it doesn't have anywhere near as many parts as the Millennium Falcon, but the Millennium Falcon was a bit of a mind bender going back through all the different sections trying to find out where something was built and where things were meant to go. We got there. That's back in one piece. Who would have thought, like a match we've harvested, can you imagine trying to harvest it? that many potatoes in an hour, normally? <laughs> You're not going to want to do that. Hey Scott, how you doing? Sometimes it's easier to break them up and start again. Not when there's seven and a half thousand pieces bow, <laughs> I'd tell you that much. I was Mr Professor, I certainly was, yep, that's all back in one piece. I'm doing good, Scott. Um, better get some rest and nearly plough through each on the oaks. Cheers, Dazed. Good to see you, mate. Have a good one. Rest easy. Catch you again soon. We spent some time with Dazed. Actually, this is the second time I've harvested potatoes this week. We spent some time on the oaks helping Dazed out with some potato harvest. So keep an eye out for a video of that coming sometime this week. Dazed is dazed. <laughs> he has been. He might be a bit glazed. <clears throat> but he's not phased. His implement is raised. Ended up in a few fields, but it was due to lag. Sure it was, Bo. Sure it was. That old chestnut, eh? The old lag chestnut. Alright, what do you reckon? I reckon we're, we're far enough ahead. I might go do a little bit of hauling for a bit. And run a auger wagon. The net for a couple of rows and I can jump back in the wind row if I need to. Implement a raise glaze that I sleep for a good time. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Goodness, thank you. Days go to bed. Alright, let's turn that off for now. We're going to pack this up over here. We're going to go find ourselves something else to drive. Right, there's a spear tractor here. That's a run. Sneaking in front of Scott. It's twitchy two tracks. Right. Oh, he's didn't turn on. <clears throat> uh, of course, cruise control didn't turn on. That's the one I'm looking for. Perfect. Um, 
So have you finished all the spuds in Dazed? Oh, GPS set the wrong speed. Rotam. You know, quickly we've filled up though. Pretty nuts. That's very fast. Hey, Scott Free for all. How you doing? Good to see you as always. Hope you're good, mate. Hope you're good. You missed it, you were up, just didn't see the Discord channel was playing Sif. Ah, it's by my court. Very really nice to have you there. Lunch break eating sushi. Nice one. Love some sushi. Um, all the fields done now to get them ploughed and seeded before Sunday. Goodness, what are you what are you planting? I'm trying to get planted before Sunday. Winter wheat. Uh, Didn't like Sushi Corp, it's certainly an acquired taste. Japanese beer though. <laughs> toodles, toodles dazed. Good to see you mate, catch you later. Our kids love it. Literally just had a motorbike launch off from the corner near us and it's still going. Goodness. Um, do I have a copy of your logo to put on? Yeah, of course, mate. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely I'll send it over to you. Sounds like one of those tractors got a tune up. Could you hear that? It was certainly hauling. getting a second harvester. Okay. Goodness. Thank you, it's busy. What? 
Why didn't we? <laughs> uh, I'm not even going to try and organize these guys. Oh, uh, goodness. Some Peterbilt logging truck mods that I'll make into your logging company. Nice. So just the easiest way. Um, Have a look. So open up the one I've done for you, Corp, and see how I did it. And if you can do that, you'll be fine. Hey, you farmer Mike, how you doing? Good morning to you, welcome along. So it looks like we've gotten got another uh, harvester. Chinook, you'll need to go and unload Scott because he can't pick up more than a thousand liters. We won't be able to pick up that, but he's trying to tidy up. To your right, no, you were just about next to him. Another topic, it seems like Giants has turned on the turbo on the mods, can hardly keep up with all new mods coming out. I know, Ben, yeah, it's, it's been a uh, busy week, really, hasn't it? I'm assuming they've, you know, from their, their new QA people, they've brought into the business, they've been able to um, <clears throat> catch up and get them sort of upskilled and you know, have a little bit more of a... Got the team up to speed, so yeah, it'd be good if that's the case. I think Scott and Hanson there is a cluster in itself. Corp. I like it. Good morning to you, it's 10 10 pm. <clears throat> well, good evening. Good evening to you. At least what I say. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone. Can't forget Chinook. No, don't forget Chinook Corp. Alright, now Tam's going to be stuck here with no one. Would not have just wound the speed up on Tam. Got his cruise control going faster. All right. We'll just do what we're told. I completely missed the opportunity, not the 1100, but they had a 900 MT at the field days. I completely missed the chance to go and look at it, but bummed about that. Monday, you go back in for a five hour IV infusion. Oh, joy. Oof. Does sound like a bit of a. Uh, Bit of a challenge. Corp does not sound like much fun at all. You saw it. Oh, yeah, I knew you saw it. The stage that family were a little bit over the field days. Didn't want to push my luck. Figure out what's what's happening up here in the trees. Uh. 
Look at that, these guys are sorted. They know what they're doing. You had to look while I was getting the merch. All right, my John, my John Deere hat. Not driving a John Deere, so I better not wear it. Help Hooper on his way. I'm not close enough, sorry, Tim. Are we going to go halfway and turn around, or should we just swap rows now, Tim? Because these guys are coming down the other one. Yeah. No, you're right. Keep going. If you're not stuck, keep going and go to the left and you'll get through. So a big class square bailey still going down the highway behind a bobtail semi. It was huge. They are big, eh? You don't appreciate how big some of this farm equipment is until you actually see it in the flesh. across here. Don't tell me off. <clears throat> Looks like bales are as big as your car or bigger. You've got a 2019 just now, Tim. They are. They actually can be caught. Can be pretty impressive. Well, thank you everyone who's tuned in today. Hope you are enjoying the stream. Being a bit of uh, something a bit different. Harvesting here using the Spudnik pack, which was originally released for Farm Sim 19 and subsequently released for 22. I think that truck's going to get full. Should have gone and unloaded into Chunuk, shouldn't I? I saw a big yellow Agco Furt spreader coming home yesterday. 
impressive. He thought a 95 pound bail was big using hay hooks as a team. We can't even keep up with the uh, harvesters now. Busy times. <laughs> this is one of those times that I appreciate why we have Discord muted and you don't need to listen to what the others are saying. Notice a lot more machinery now since playing farm sim. Recognize a lot of the equipment from the game spotted one of the cedars I used a lot in the flesh last week. Isn't it? I found that interesting, Bo. Like, you see all these brands that you think are real far, and you're like, oh, you're never going to see that in New Zealand. And then you, next week, you spot one of those and go, oh, okay. So there is an importer here for it. Stop Chinook from going anywhere. See you later, alligator. <laughs> My harvest is just here, I don't have to go as far either. Christina Thomas, can you join? Well, you can if you like. You've got to go through the Discord server, exclamation mark Discord, and you can uh, download the mods, get the passwords and everything through there. Um, we're only going to be going for another 40 or 45 minutes though, so think how quickly you can get all that downloaded and set up. Seen some Gulvia stuff in the wild in the last, you noticed JCB fast track slowly getting a toehold. Definitely seen, definitely noticed the uh, Gulvia stuff. Oh. <clears throat> There you go, there's the Discord, and we've got channels set up for all the different multiplayer servers, there's all the login details, everything's there, so easy to find. Hey Darren, how you doing? Good to see you. Echo Dealer had a Rita Grass merger. <clears throat> I've seen a few more mergers around too. Are we going to trucks either? When trucks just getting back. Oops, we're crossing streams.
broke the golden rule, don't cross streams. <clears throat> Team Tam Harvesters racing along. We've done all the hard work down this end. Don't know what's happening down the other end. Why don't you have to? Uh, why do I have to jump out and do some wind rowing again? All right, we're actually going to be caught up. So, I think. Keep going again. So Hanson's what row are you? What row are you on, Hanson? I'll be on thirty one. Which Oh, you're throwing. Oh, are you th oh, you're throwing out to your left. Okay, thirty-three. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> Dropping some more. There we go. Ensign's on twenty-nine. He'll do 30. You sure that's right? Are you sure that's right? What row are you on? Did you send? So 30 will be your next row. And 31 will be harvest. So I should be on 32. Not 33. Until he gets here. I'm sure, I'm right now. I'm coming towards you. What have I hit there? That's caused me to stop. Oh, big pile of spuds. I can't pull past the potatoes. Right, there we go. Got past it, had to lift, missed a little bit. Life goes on. <clears throat> Don't read chat while approaching a stream. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely don't read chat. What are we? No, quite halfway across. It'll be perfect, won't it? I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Oh, okay. Either one. Doesn't matter. Oh, rats. I think... We, one more person... One more person would make this run smoothly. Perfect. One more person would be perfect for us. We'd have two harvesters with two carts on each. 
which is 6, and then Manhunter win rowing B8. Lifting the spuds, that'll be perfect. Um, I can't remember. That's right, we're smooth. We're running along. You still look at how much spuds we've done. Impressive. What do those ones down there do too? Oh, that's some of that sugar cane. All right. Not all spuds, just that side. Oh, goodness. Right, just blowing. Gosh, I don't know why it says that all needs plowing. I'll ignore that. So what's uh oh yeah, Hanson's coming down that row behind us. We need to... We turn to the right and we'll unload that way. <clears throat> hey Scorp, how you doing? Finally home from the market. How did it go today? Good. Successful day with uh Mrs. Scorp, was it? I can see now why Hanson said you might want to turn um, turn to the right because that's getting pretty pretty skinny up this end. Very good market, first time at this one, very busy. Ah, so you went to a, went to a different one, score. Nice. Oh, good reward then if it was busy. You happy with that? Hello, Isaac, how you doing? Good morning. Or good afternoon. Or good evening. A little further away, had lunch down there. Nice area, nice. Gosh, that, that better be a good barbecue, Jason. 500 kilometer drive for a barbecue. <laughs> uh. That's a commitment. Too full to think barbecue right now. Barbecue sounds good. We uh got ourselves an air fryer this week. Late to the late to the party, but make me another coffee. Fried catfish and fries. What's catfish like? Like, is that actual catfish? Could not think of a, a type of fish I'd rather not eat. Personally. You also have those crazy huge ones though, don't you? Like, size of a man. Catfish.
I, yeah, well, no, they've already had their own breakfast. But I'm getting another coffee made for me. Farm roast catfish. Drop back to, drop back to a single harvester. Interesting they farm rose catfish though. But yeah, I guess that makes sense. Not the bottom feeding ones. Uh, he was given some wild venison back steaks this week, shot by one of our apprentices. It was his way of thanking me for giving him the time off to go hunting. That's nice. It's uh, not a bad gift. You'd tell him you'll give him every week off if he can't bring some back bat venison. Catfish is good. Hmm. Interesting. Banana pudding. Hanson's coming back down on his own row, so I'll have to figure out my maths for where I need to be. We're on 30, the wind row's 31, he has 30. Two, thirty-three, thirty-four. 34, he's running down 35, and 36, and 37 will be a harvested row, so I want to do 38, goodness, sounds about right. Venison summer sausage. So it does sound good corp, I like the sound of that. One of those for breakfast. Should we have some leftover mash spuds from dinner last night? I might have to see if they got put in the fridge and if they did. Can't beat a good fry up with some mash spuds. Me eggs. You can say hello. Hello. Where'd I look? There. There's the hello. camera. Right, there we go. Right, so what do I reckon? 38. So that was 30... I hope I'm right. <laughs> I'm, I hope I'm right. This could be a mess or it could be not. <sighs> Coffee number two for the day. Love it. Yeah, yeah, that's what I figured out, and that's what I'm on. The Floyd was watching, he'd say hello back to Argsy Jr. Stopped on the way home to get gas and bought coffee in there, nice. Sure can. Is 
this is the other way you can do it if you if you solo. You can harvest and kind of go and loop, so I'll turn to the right and do 36. Or if you've got the left hand discharge one, which Hanson's driving, you go the other way. It should work out alright. Bit slow, we should have got a uh, screenshot before Hoover's left. Downside is, I don't actually know how many potatoes we've harvested because they're not, they're not going anywhere. 400,000 litres down in the productions, so we don't really need to do that with them. we got animal wise. Yeah, a couple hundred cows. Your chickies. Just make your own coffee when you're on the road. One of those fancy little coffee machines in your truck, did you call? We're getting close to the magic 50 likes, folks. Do make sure if you haven't dropped a thumbs up already. You do before you leave, before the end of the stream. There we go, Grizz has just dropped in to give a like. Thank you, mate. Couldn't have timed that better myself. Appreciate it. Make it as strong as you need it that way. Absolutely, isn't that the best? Strong enough it gets up and runs away on its own. Throw a like up when you walked in the door. It's a good habit to get into. That way you don't forget. Yeah, and how you doing, mate? Hit the like button. Thank you for that reminder as well. 29 months a member. Much appreciated, my friend. Hope all is well. Hope you're... Enjoying your time on Aussie Nomads? I did also say Jan, it's Yan. <laughs> Looking forward to meeting you too, mate. You're, uh, you're planning to be at FarmCon, aren't you? You see why well, you're not doing spuds on Aussie Nomads? Yeah. I wouldn't mind doing spuds with this equipment on Aussie Nomads. Get a big field. Would be would be manageable. Just. I certainly wouldn't want to do it with anything bigger than uh, <laughs> you need the normal equipment. I know everyone's gonna say just use Mark stuff. No. I like Mark's things and I like what he does, but not my style. This is actually legitimately 100% the way that spuds are harvested quite a lot in the states. I've seen some cool videos of how it's all done. They'll have they'll have goodness ten of these wind rows or three three different crews running in one big field. They'll just have these big long passes and just go go go. Then have the wagons. Things like the um eh, where are they? I can't remember this are they? Like the the beet cart, but they have ones more for potatoes than that. Um cut one. Yeah, we don't have it in there. But there is one. Spud don't do one, I think. Um Hanson, gifting five memberships to the community. Thank you very much, mate. Very much appreciated. Scorp, nice to see you getting one there mate. Aurelian, Andy H Farming, Christian, and Sheep. Another Hanson in there. 
Christian Henderson was gifted by <laughs> On Demand Henson. Henson. Henson gifted Henson. Thanks, mate. Much appreciated. Cheers, Grizz. Thanks for stopping in and saying hello. Thank you for leaving that like. Much appreciated. Hope you have a good resty weekend. We'll uh, hopefully see you in another stream soon. Are you still there, Mrs. Professor? Have you been watching the uh, watching the testing they're already doing on Starship Booster Eleven? Did a static fire test yesterday. Ship twenty. Which one are they using for this? Is it twenty six? Remember which number they're up to for the ship? But it did a couple of static fires earlier in the week, which is kind of cool. They seem to be. Uh, well, people are already murmuring. A May flight four. Which would just be um be amazing to see. So fingers crossed. They release SpaceX released their cool video, their sort of two minute summary video of the launch of Flight 3, and that looked amazing. So cool. Right, if I go on my maths, I need to go over eight rows, which would be forty four. 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, yes. When you pulled up at the farmer's market, you saw your first cyber truck in the wild, man, is that thing ugly? Is that right? Ship 29. Right. Couldn't remember which number it was, but yeah, how cool is that going to be? They are flying through the prep. Isn't it good though? They've obviously, you know, the learnings they've made, but also the improvements they've made to like the orbital launch mounts and all the infrastructure means they're not having to spend as much time refurbing. It's very cool. You want me to do 41? So the other side of yours? Yep. Can do. I'd love to see one in the wild. It's cool. I, I don't know. There's something about them. I just think they, I think they're kind of cool. I especially like the people who've like wrapped them and got them coloured. They start looking at giving some personality in that. I want to see someone actually use it for a, a functional purpose on a farm or something. Right. So we'll go through and try and open the rest of this one up. That's us there, 41, yep, done. The beastly looking thing. It's another one of those things like talking about f size of farm equipment earlier and you don't appreciate how big things are until you see them in the flesh. I imagine that's exactly the same. Don't appreciate how big it's going to be until you see it in the flesh. So what are we? We're, we're an hour and 45 through the field. Definitely got half of it done. Probably more than half. We're, ha we're halfway across it just about. Like that, turn it upside down. Yeah. Wasn't it good? Many hands make light work. This one's raced through. It's been good. If you can't have the stainless steel of a DeLorean or Cybertruck, it's the next, be next best thing. You want to go up to BC and see Topsy the diesel electric semi. Hey Bo, have a good one mate. We'll catch you again soon. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Morning Anzac, how you done? Good to see you again. 
Two streams in a row, I feel privileged. Elon's thing is flying Starship several times a week. Can't do that if they have to spend weeks fixing the orbital launch mount after every flight. They want to have like a 60... They want to have a 60 minute turnaround or something, don't they? Like, ultimately. <laughs> right. This is, my son's just made wheat books for breakfast. Look at this. You think that'd be how? That's... That's got honey and then like, I don't know, a cup of sugar on top of it. Like <laughs> it's ridiculous. At least a half. It's ridiculous how much sugar he's just thrown on there. Oh, goodness. Many hands make lights work. Sparky joke. Yeah. Not bigger than most of the trucks around here, but does stand out. True. But then we, we're starting to see things like the... um. The Silverados and F-150s and that sort of thing is starting to become a bit more common around New Zealand. The Dodge Ram and they make our Rangers and Hiluxes look tiny. So it's all relative to what you're used to. Straight sugar, it just about was Corp. Just about what it was. It'll be interesting. That's, a, that's certainly a long term goal and you've got to have those don't you. Good to see you too Corp, thanks for joining tonight. Hopefully catch you back on one of the servers at some stage, mate. Good to, good to have you help. Um, hope all goes well on Monday with your IV treatment as well, buddy. Um, you'd like a Hilux. Hilux is a good. Use them when you're in Egypt and Kuwait. Yeah, makes sense. Look at that 50 likes. Thank you for everyone who's dropped a like on the stream. Very much appreciated. An 80s Hilux Berry Crumb edition. <laughs> Perfect. Used to all those trucks and you see F-350 Julies, 450s, 550s, those are beginning to be out more, become more regular. Now, it'll be a long time before you see those in New Zealand, I would have thought. It'd be way too big. <laughs> it'll happen though, someone will bring one in. I mean, yeah, people import them and sort of stuff. around here. Where's Henson going? Okay, he's making that one right. So we're going to go down. It's working. Texans all about their trucks. We need one, or whether you need one or not. Oh, it's funny because when I was in Houston, I don't really recall seeing that. But maybe I was, in, you know, that's kind of um, metropolitan, so don't see too many of them. Uh, you're off if you're doing the recording and Discord thing again this Monday. Let us know. Yeah, for sure, Thomas. Um, I plan to. I plan to. To have to see how things go. Keep an eye on the um, Argsy team channel and I'll post in there. Hey Strady, how you done? Good evening to you. And 
good morning to you, Paul. How cool is that? One person tuning in saying good evening, one might pop in and say good morning. How you doing? Made a decent amount actually. I wonder if I can. What day of the month? We're in August. We should. There are going to be all sorts of weird and wonderful things. And two hundred fifty thousand dollars. I think that's all potatoes. About right. We're only a bit more than a hundred k at the start. So uh, no game sound. Might have been because I was tabbed out for a second. Not sure, Paul. Could be good. Can you hear the harvester? Say good afternoon is all the options are covered. There you go. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Right. Still low, huh? Might just be, might just be the sound. Um. Been up since five, drink coffee now and still falling asleep. <laughs> I'm I'm actually fortunate, Scorp, that it was daylight savings last night and we've gained an hour because we've fallen back for winter. Um, because I stayed up stupidly late last night playing games with a mate. And I'd set my alarm and it was midnight and I was getting up at six forty and it said I had seven hours forty till my alarm went off. I was like, cool, I can go for a bit longer. That's because that extra hour we had. So it's technically it's almost technically ten AM here. All done on the oaks for the year now, I've added another cow shed, just have to make sure I remember to feed them this winter, unlike last. Yep, uh, animal welfare has been snooping around the oaks, Strody, so definitely uh, definitely don't know, neglect your animals. There's a few reported instances last year, so they're uh, uh, keeping a closer eye. Roger, 47. Hopefully days won't turn on and they can die option. It's been suggested, Strody, so be careful. I don't I don't think that's I don't think that'll happen because things happen, but do you say if it was if it was a uh, tactic being employed by people to let their animals go hungry because it doesn't cause any issue. That would be another story. I'm not suggesting at all that's what you're doing either, by the way. I think the, uh, the Oaks has been played in a very good spirit. It's been nice. Unsever to be on. I've actually got to try and log in and make some hay. And I think I've completely missed all my windows for planting crops this winter, so... We'll just go with fallow ground across winter and deal with it all in spring. Still plant wheat, I think only for another day or something, isn't it? Isn't the end of this month? I don't think you can plant wheat into the next month. The three J's Gamings, good morning to you, good day. There you go, you've got it covered. Good day. Welcome along, mate. Nice to have you here. Until tomorrow in game, yeah. Oh, I've struggled to get in and do it today.
I was just trying to have a look. It doesn't look like there's anyone else live on YouTube at the moment that we could uh, head on over and support once we've finished up here. I have to wait and see. Hey, Olaf, how you doing? I am doing well, thank you. Hope you are as well. Nice to see you. So we have, uh, if you're only just joining, been harvesting potatoes for the last couple of hours. We've got pretty much, well, you can see how far we've harvested. So the beauty of these machines, these are the Spudnik pack, which was released late in 19, transferred over to 22. Um, the beauty of these is we're picking up six rows into a win row. You can see Hanson going one way. This is discharging on his left. Mine's discharging on my right. So we can create basically a center win row, which is 12 rows of spuds and then come along the other way in just a second you'll see Tam driving the um, pickup and he's picking up four rows in the middle as well as the 12 rows we've dumped on the ground he's effectively harvesting 16 rows at once I'm not be able to zoom out far enough oh, no, not quite zoom out far enough to show you we'll look around this way not yet You can see him running along there, Scott next to him unloading in two, so the harvester has a capacity of a thousand litres, so there's a little bit of float there, but you do need to have the auger next to you pretty much the whole time, so it's a, uh, it's a team job, it's actually been a perfect thing to do on a server. Something I've wanted to, actually wanted to do for a while, not had the chance to. I did in 19 manage to get this all running with using course play, which is a little bit of a, um, a little bit of a challenge, but we got it working, so it is possible. I have to set it up using three implements and then adjust the row spacings, and it'll work. It's a lot of potatoes. It certainly is a lot of potatoes. Oh yeah, yeah, I can do. All right, we're just gonna. Finish this row and we'll go jump in an auger wagon. All for a little bit. Will we finish things up? Not too much longer. For much more. Go and park this down here out of the way so it doesn't get in the way of Tam when he's trying to turn around. Right. Let's go find what's parked up. That or that's the other harvester. So it looks like we're going to be back in this beast, the twitchy tractor. Huh? Is mum gone for a walk? When are you going to go do your run? Hey? Yeah. 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 that perfect timing We've got four more rows after this one that are opened up. So I think Hanson said he's going to park up and get the other. Other all go up and going. Other one row up and going.
wind the speed up, I think Hanson's going to go grab the other harvester in a sec. Look at that convoy. Chain gang running, running here. I'm just wind the... Uh, Oops. Again, my bad. Alright, that'll do. Close enough. It's a shame we haven't actually put these into a storage to see exactly how many we've harvested. Interesting to see. Mm, you see how much we sold and do the reverse maths on, I suppose. Count how many truckloads we did it. Hey, Ron, how you doing? You're new to the game, I want to say thanks for all the great content it's been super helpful. That's awesome. Glad to hear it, mate. Glad to hear it's been helpful and uh, glad to hear you're enjoying things. Appreciate you popping in and saying that. It's, uh, it's always nice to hear the little comments like that. So thank you. Somewhere between 1 and 1 billion. <laughs> Somewhere between that. Well, let's, let's do some quick maths. So... Harvest income so far is 273,000. So, let's bring up a calculator. 273,000, and we've made 20,000 per load, roughly. So that's 13.65. So we've either done 13 or 14 loads, I'm not sure which one it is. Let's say we've done 14 loads. There's one off. Oh, 14 loads at 112 thousand litres each. So 14 truckloads, 120,000 a pop. 1 1.6, 1 1.68, 1 1.7 million litres. There you go. So you were right, Scorp, it was somewhere between 1 and 1 billion. <laughs> but a bit closer to 1.7 million. goodness how many actual potatoes that is Well, how many potatoes, it depends how big a potato, like what size potatoes. The table, so the average tuber weight of potato ranges from 38 to 140 grams. We'd have to know the weight. Volume of a potato, what is the volume of a potato? <laughs> It's actually a, actually a document here which shows us that. However, oh, sorry team, I'm too busy trying to figure out the volume of a potato. Important research being done. Very 
Where is it? Potatoes, potatoes, volume per liter, 0.24. So let's say 0.24 of a liter. So that means there's four potatoes per liter. And we sold 1.68 million liters. So multiply it by four. 1.7 times four, four, five, six point eight million potatoes. There you go. This tractor's more powerful. That'll be mine. Enough to make a few batches of mash spuds. That's right. All right, here's a question. Here's a question. We're talking about potatoes. Favorite way to cook a potato? What's your favorite potato dish? Type of potato? me i am a duck fat roasted potato this is going to sound this is very bougie very snobby duck fat roasted potatoes you haven't haven't had a potato roasted in duck fat you haven't lived does vodka count <laughs> sure it's a potato dish mashed or baked for you scorp the guys on the discord are talking about some foil wrapped Barbecue potatoes. Mashed with cheese sauce and sausages. So we had um what did we have last night French French onion meatballs with mesh spuds and they had like a French onion gravy. That was pretty good. If you went full of barbecue brisket topped baked potato would sound tasty. That sounds tasty even if you were full scorp. Hasselbank. Hasselbank potatoes are good too. Um, don't mind a potato au gratin. Oh, that's the only way you can mash potatoes, Scott. Butter and uh, butter and a bit of milk. Cream is even better. Mash potatoes with cream. Alright, it's time to park up. Let's park up and get a screenshot. And Hanson's put these wooden rows here. Rubber harvester down the middle. Not much. potatoes with butter, heavy whipping cream and horseradish. Well that sounds good too, a bit of horseradish. Throw that in there. Butter? What? No, oh, stop asking. That's, that's the Winrose spot Chinook, what are you doing? It was Tam's spot. You gotta go in the middle, Tam, between the two wind rows. Just bush, bush, boss it in. Artistic. 
It's artistic, creative. No, he's, he's commenting about how I parked my wagon. Each 20 bucks, 10 makes it fit. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Like a pro. Like a pro. <laughs> He's making it fit. I told you to make it fit. Oh, Scott. Scott's. Oh, I'm. We'll make you some space. There you go. Line up, eh? Look at that. Smoked corn. I actually need to go this way, get more of a overview of what we've got behind, otherwise it's just a whole lot of tractors in a row. Just cram, just cram, cram them in there. looking crew. It is, isn't it? And Hanson's struggling. You had too much to eat. You can't get up the top. He, he, he needs to... We need to, go, we need to go and get him a forklift. We need to go and get him a forklift. Alright, here we go. That's it. <laughs> Alright, top work all, sorry, all good Ben, these things happen mate, it's the joys of uh, joys of the internet and doing multiplayer stuff, but it's good you were able to be here for a bit, yeah, make them all look important. That's a pretty good lineup, isn't it, how many millions of dollars worth of tractor is there there? Alright. Well, there we go. That is uh, that's us going to wrap things up. There, that was um, that was fun. How much did we get done? Let's have a look. It's a big chunk of potatoes. Could you imagine doing that in two hours using a normal potato harvester? The in-game ones. Not me. Not me. Even even with one of the uh, grimy. It's only three meter wide and runs at six miles per hour. So I really don't think we would have got much more done using those. The only benefit to these is they have a hop of they have a capacity to them. So. You don't have to have a uh, auger running next to you the whole time, but happy days, happy happy days. All right, thanks for streaming, guys. Later, chat peeps. Like and subscribe on the way out. Indeed, yeah. So we're done. Um, let's have a look. I was going to see if there was anyone live, but no one we want to go and have a look at. So uh, yeah. Go and catch FSG's released his latest contract video. So episode seven from the US. Let's go and see what he's up to after his lawn mowing escapades last time around. Um, but yeah, like I said, that's us done. If you're interested in joining the multiplayer servers, please come and jump on um, Discord, exclamation mark Discord, we'll get you a link to that. Come and join. Uh, there's always something to do. There's three or four servers up and running and uh, largely open to anyone. We do have the members only server on Southern Pastures um, and we'll be streaming, I don't know where we'll be streaming from next week. It'll be a multiplayer server again though, same time, same place. So if you want to be part of the crew, Make sure you jump in and uh, get all the mods downloaded and everything like that. It'd be awesome to have you all here. Um, as for this week, we'll be live again on Wednesday from Aussie Nomans. Uh, we're recording an episode of with the FSG of our new series. So keep an eye out for that coming out on Wednesday morning New Zealand time, Tuesday evening UK time, Tuesday afternoon US time. Uh, yeah, otherwise, stay safe. 
enjoy the rest of your weekend thank you to everyone who's tuned in today the guys who've been in the stream thank you for coming in um very quickly as well hansen for the five gifted memberships vidra for the five gifted memberships and the 10 canadian dollar super chat um very generous of you all so take care i'm out you guys enjoy the rest of your day we'll see you again soon bye my button's not working there it is see ya bye